Hi guys, this is Matej, Pauna Flash Shop with you again. Uh, in our previous video I talked about how to wash your waders if they are dirty or you know have been under strong use. And now we're gonna do the second chapter about how to renew the DWR layer. What's that? When you buy your new waders, sims, breathable, whatever, they they are protected with a layer called durable water repellency. It's like when you hot wax your car and you throw a water upon it, it bounces away. Waders have the same feature when they are new and for a short while. But then, you know, from use, from fishing, from abrasion and from washing, this W durable water protection layer washes away. And the water doesn't bounce away from waders anymore. That doesn't mean that the waders would be leaking. They still hold water, but the water penetrates the first layer. If you see here, you see the dark patches. Those are wet waders after fishing. And some areas remain wet, even when the water bounced away. That means that the water already penetrated in the first layer. Not true, I'm still dry inside, but my waders now feel more heavy because the layer is under, under the water, the first one. Um, how to renew this protection layer? Well, you have to use a certain agent called uh, Revivex Durable Water Parent Agent. You can get it at the specialized dealers uh, for Gore-Tex, Garden Protection, Pound and Fly Shop, uh, whatever you want. And with this, you will renew the durable water repellency and the water will again, let's say, bounce away from your waders for a certain, certain amount of time. When you come out of the water, you're going to shake the waders like that and they will look like dry. And you will have them lighter and this agent will also renew the breathability of the waders. Uh, so it's really good to make this process uh, once a month, once two months, something like that. Uh, you can do this process inside, indoor, in your garage. It doesn't have to be outside. Um, I'm going to do it outside because my garage is a mess and uh, it would take a while that I would you know, get it ready for uh, filmmaking. So we're going to go outside. Again, you could wash the waders before you do this, but it's not so necessary. If they're not really dirty, you just want to do the process of renewing, you don't have to wash them. If you want to wash them, Look our previous video about how to wash your waders in a washing machine. Okay, so let's go out now and restore durable water repellency of the waders. Come. Here we are now on the, on the garden, but as I said, it can be garage, whatever. Um, hang your waders because you will need the area to work with. I washed them in the washing machine uh, and now they are not soaking wet, but they are still a little damp. They have to be a little bit damp. If you will not do the washing cycle, you can make them damp, not totally soaking wet, just damp, by using uh, water. Yeah, water, H2O, normal pipe water. Mm. Nothing special. See, water, you could use a little sponge just to get them get them properly wet. Um, you will have to do that all over the waders, but do it on a small areas. It will be much more easy to go through complete waders if you will know which sections you already did and what still needs to be done. So don't spray all over the waders, choose a small quarters or small patches and do it from all the, all, from all the sides and on the crotch and on the stitches, everything. Uh, if we zoom again on the tools, what we need, you see, a small soft sponge, a uh, Revivex Durable Water Repellency Agent, hair dryer, this is important, I'm gonna let you know why. Hair dryer, not industrial, personal hair dryer. And water, pipe water, nothing special. Okay, long story short, we make them dump, now we're gonna use the water repellency spray. Why the hair dryer? because the hair dryer will dry the water out and will kind of push or melt the Revivex in the first layer. So it much speeds the process of installing the Revivex in the tissue 
and the revivals will stay longer there. So your weathers will be longer protected if you will use the normal hair dryer. Uh, why dump? Why water? Revivex is white color and if it's no water it might leave a small patches. If it's dump he will spread much more evenly and when it will be dry you will have no patches of white. Okay? Simple as that. So they are dump. Here's your Revivex. You can use the sponge again if you want. See? Not too much. Doesn't have to be pouring down from the Revivex. With the sponge I will just take care that the agent is evenly spread on the area I'm doing on. You did that. Hair dryer. Hot air. Hot. Not cold. Hot air. And it just sprays, it just dries. So, I'm finished with this area. To make video shorter, I didn't work yet all the way down. But this area here is done. So, spray it, hair dry it, dry to the bone. Um, and now, let's see if it's working. See, the water bounced away and if we do a closer, closer shot, it bounces away from your waders and they will feel lighter. Yeah? So the material will be again, let's say renewed, better breathability and refreshed. You could do the, you could you should do this at least before the fly fishing season and at the end. If you fish a lot, one time in between, or as much as you like. It's a great thing you can do for the durability and lifetime of your uh, usually not so cheap part of your fly fishing gear. That's it. Renewing the du durable water repellency. Take care.